Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk about Jonah Hill. He was recently exposed by his ex, Sarah Brady, for being, you know, a, a slime ball. And it, to be honest, guys, like I'm not super surprised by this, but I did want to talk to you about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so Jonah Hill, I'm sure we are all super familiar with who he is. He's a very popular actor. A lot of his movies were huge, you know, especially like 15 years ago. I've seen a ton of his movies and he's usually well liked. He's not one of those celebrities that is constantly being talked about, but this situation still doesn't really surprise me because I think a lot of people are like this behind the scenes, especially once we're talking about um, fame and ego and celebrities and people who are well known. I think a lot of them are like this behind the scenes and it's just a matter of time whether or not, you know, do we find out about it? Do we not find out about it? If we will, it will eventually happen. And now we're talking about Jonah Hill. I want to tell you guys a little bit about Sarah because I didn't really know a whole lot about her before diving into this. And essentially here it states that Sarah identifies as an archaeologist, environmental activist, surfer, and photographer. She spent her childhood in California with her family according to her official website. She earned her undergraduate degree in cognitive science and sustainability from the University of California, Santa Cruz, where she also completed her undergraduate studies. She then majored in anthropology and climate change at the University of California, San Diego. So she's obviously a well-rounded person and she had this relationship with Jonah Hill. Now, on Instagram, she decided to share these text messages between her and Jonah. And I'll just share the text and then I'll give you guys my opinions. So essentially, she had to remove Instagram photos that he was threatened by. And she shared a um, screen recording, it looks like, and says, you know, all the posts I removed from my page, he responds, good start. You don't seem to get it, but it's not my place to teach you. I've made my boundaries clear. You refuse to let go of some of them and you've made that clear. And I hope that makes you happy. He sent a screenshot of her in a uh, swimsuit and essentially said, respect however you want to live, but you, your life, but you only get one. Sort of done explaining myself. She responded and said, three removed, not the video yet, it is it is my best surfing video. Would you feel better if the cover frame was different? Any more specific ones that bother you? And he responded and said, yes, one that isn't of your ASS in a thong. Not only is this alarming to see, even though it's not surprising, it still is very alarming, but it's interesting that this was a photo that he had an issue with, but it was also a photo that he was super into earlier in their relationship. But then obviously he felt more comfortable in displaying that he was an absolute control freak and then wanted the photo gone. So he likes it early on, then he doesn't want anyone else to be able to see it because now they're in this relationship. This is obviously peak being a hypocrite, great example of it. He also shared more of his quote boundaries and it says, plain and simple, if you need a list, surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places, and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful. I am not the partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. 
my boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. This guy is just a walking red flag. Um, it, it's just, <laughs> what a wackadoodle, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people, you know, you don't have to be somebody in the mental health field to know that a lot of people will list boundaries and they're simply just ways that they're gonna control you. They're not boundaries. They're just um, demands, ways to control the other person. And most people also know that boundaries are for yourself, not a list of things that you give to another person as a way to make them change what they do. And I also think it's, you know, something else to be said about this. This really reminds me of like dating an actor and then telling the actor that they can't do any scenes where they're kissing the person in the scene, things like that. You know, if, if she wants to model and is in a swimsuit, like, you know, your, your ego is so fragile that you can't even allow her to take a modeling gig where she might be modeling a bathing suit. What a wackadoodle. Jonah Hill, I think, is like a lot of the rest of them. And with these kinds of receipts, it really just confirms what a lot of us kind of think about celebrities already. Very egotistical, hypocrites, driven by people stroking their ego and doing exactly what they want them to do. And a lot of times weaponizing things like therapy, mental health, and, um, you know, diagnoses that they might have received. I do think there's something to be said about being attracted to something. And then once you're in that relationship, then that something needs to stop. And that's exactly what he did here. But either way, I know this was a one-off, super random, but did you guys hear about this? Are you surprised? Are you not surprised? I don't really care too much about celebrity culture and things like this, but I did find this thing to be a little interesting. So I figured I would bring it to you guys. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.